Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silvia. Today, I would like to take you back to basics as far as Pilates is concerned. Uh, this sequence is perfect if you are new to Pilates um, and you are approaching this beautiful discipline, but it is also very useful if you are in a, at a more advanced level uh, because we'll be reviewing some breathing exercises, uh, the uh, alignments and the essential level exercises. So bear in mind that no matter how simple an exercise can be, uh, it can have a huge impact on your uh, muscles, on your body in terms of strength, control and awareness. So whenever you're ready, let's get started. So let's lie on our backs. If you want, you can place a cushion under your head to support the cervical area and your knees are bent and uh, feet are hip distance apart. And let's take a moment here to check in the whole body and uh, the position of the different parts of the body. Let's start with the head. So your, your neck is nice and long and uh, you can rock from side to side your head gently just to find that central position. You feel that your collarbones are open and your shoulder blades are gently placed on the ribcage and on the mat and then your ribcage gently presses on the floor and you have that slight curve so you're not pressing your entire back on the mat but you're, you have this slight curve and feel the sacrum bone really um, placed on the mat. So your arms are on your sides and really find your neutral breath here, your natural breath here and really feel the different parts of your body. So we'll start checking with the breathing um, in Pilates. So we'll make sure that uh, we'll um, use uh, anterior and lateral breathing. So the expansion of the ribcage will go up and on the side. So place your hands on your ribcage in the external part of your ribcage. Uh, your inhale through the mouth through the nose and exhale through your mouth, like you have a candle in front of your face and you want to blow it off. So big inhale and expand your rib cage and exhale, bring your ribs close together. Inhale, breathe in and exhale. Inhale, breathe in and exhale, close your rib cage and keep going. So when, when you're breathing, you're starting to breathe in Pilates, uh, see that you are not really, um, you're not inflating your belly. So you're not really uh, focusing on the belly. So you think about con contracting the pelvic floor muscles and the transversus abdominis. So you can think about drawing the navel into the spine without losing that lumbar uh, curve. And this control, this deep control, this deep awareness in your abdominals stays whenever you inhale and exhale. So your ribcage expands and contracts uh, without really uh, influencing the, uh, the, the connection, the abdominal connection in your belly. Let's do a couple more of these breaths. Inhale, Expand the rib cage and exhale. Bring the ribs close together. And one more. Inhale and exhale. And let's go back to your natural breathing. Bring your hands, bring your arms on your sides. So now we'll start gently rocking you, the pelvis. And we'll find, so we, this, it, from this neutral position, we'll find an imprinted position. So think about driving the level into the spine and gently pressing with your lower back on the mat. So don't use your glutes, but only use your abdominals. Inhale, come back to neutral. And exhale. You can place your hands on your hips just to, to notice this posterior tilt with your pelvis and going back to a neutral position. Inhale here and exhale. Inhale, release and exhale. Navel to the spine 
And let's do a couple more. Inhale, neutral position and exhale, imprint. And last one, inhale and exhale. Press that lower back on the floor. And come back to, let's go back to a neutral position here. So you can bring your, um, your feet a little closer to your glutes. And if you have any cushions under your head, please take them off because we're going to be taking the weight towards the shoulders. So stay here, inhale, and let's go through that imprinted position and start curling your pelvis up. Let's go halfway. Inhale, stay, and exhale, articulate the spine vertebrae by vertebrae and find that neutral position again. Inhale here and exhale, imprint and contract your glutes. Start feeling your legs work. Inhale and exhale, come back to a neutral position. And let's do two more, inhale, and exhale, navel to the spine, engage your glutes and go up halfway. Inhale, stay and exhale, roll down. And let's do one last time. Inhale and exhale, roll up halfway. Inhale, stay here and exhale, come back to a neutral position. So let's go all the way up to the shoulder blades. Inhale and exhale, imprint your lower back and contract your glutes and breathe out. Inhale, stay here. So you can, if I can go a little further up. Inhale and exhale, release. Massage your spine until you find that neutral again. Inhale and exhale, imprint your spine and contract your glutes and press up evenly on your feet. Inhale, stay and exhale, release. Really think about massaging your spine as you go down vertebrae by vertebrae. And let's do two more. Inhale and exhale, roll up. So press on your feet, heels and toes. Inhale, stay and exhale, roll down. Keep your neck long, your collarbones open. And let's do last one. Inhale and exhale, roll up. So press your feet down. Inhale, stay here and exhale, roll down and find that neutral position once again. Nice job. If you want, you can place the cushion under your head once again. So now, depending on what feeling you have in your lower back, if you don't have any, um, any, um, any strain, any, any pain in your lower back, you can find that neutral position and keep it. Otherwise, make sure you are in a slightly imprinted position so, to protect your lower back. So engage your abdominals. So find that navel to the spine position without really going into an imprinted if you can and lift your right leg to a tabletop position. So stay here, make sure that your hips stay level so you, the alignment here is respected. Inhale and let's do toe tap, exhale. So the aim is to bring the toes to tap on the floor. Think about moving your thigh. So your right thigh goes away from your chest and comes back to your chest slightly, to that tabletop position or a bit closer to your body. And exhale. So work to keep your abdominals and to keep your pelvis stable. So, and bear in mind, you have to, uh, if you can, Keep that 90 degree angle between your thigh and your shin. And let's do two more. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale up and bring your foot down. So make sure you engage your abdominals before lifting your leg and then lift the left leg here. Inhale, prepare, and exhale, tap the floor. One, and back, and two. So use your breath to help the abdominal contraction. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up, 90 degree angle in your knee. Inhale up and work to keep that pelvis stable. You don't feel any tension in your, in your neck, in your shoulders. And let's do two more here and exhale. Inhale up and last one, exhale. Up and bring it down.
So now let's see if we can alternate the legs doing these toe taps. So make sure your, uh, your abs are engaged and lift one leg and then lift the other leg. So starting from this position. So let's alternate. So right leg goes down, inhale and left goes down, inhale and keep moving. Three and up and four and up. So the weight of your leg is um, supported by your abs. So if you want, you can uh, press the lower back on the floor to protect that part of your spine. And let's do four more. Inhale and three. Inhale and two. Inhale and last one. Inhale. So he, from here, place one foot and then the other on the floor and then release. You can rock gently from side to side to massage a little bit your lumbar spine. So now let's focus on the upper part of the abdominals and let's do AB prep. So place your hands behind your head. Your elbows are wide but not placed on the, on the mat. Let's inhale here and let's do a little head nod. Exhale, bring your chest up. So think about moving the rib cage towards your hips. Inhale, see if you can go a little further up and exhale, release all the way down. Inhale, a little head nod and exhale, bring your chest up. Inhale, stay here and exhale, bring it down. Inhale, little head nod and exhale, bring that navel into the spine. Inhale, stay and exhale, bring it down. Let's do two more. Inhale, head nod and exhale, breathe out here. And inhale, see so you can go further up and exhale, release. And let's do last one. Inhale, head nod and exhale, up. Inhale, stay and exhale, release. So now see if you can uh, extend your arms to the sky. Actually, we're going to prepare them towards your head. So if you feel you need the su to support your head, stay with your hands behind your head. Otherwise, give it a try to uh, release the hands, the arms and bring back, bring them up. So inhale here and exhale up. So bring your arms to your side. Inhale, Let's see if you can go a little further and exhale, release and bring your arms over your head. Inhale, move your arms forward and exhale, chest up. Let's go into that thoracic flexion. Inhale, see if you can lift a little more and exhale, release all the way down. Inhale up and exhale. So you're gazing to your hips. Inhale, stay here and exhale, release. And let's do two more if possible. Inhale and exhale up. Inhale, stay and exhale, come down. And let's do last one. Inhale, arms forward and exhale, chest up. Inhale, stay and exhale, bring it down. So now let's see if we can add, add um, a, a leg coming down to coming up to tabletop position. Inhale here and exhale up and the legs come to a tabletop position. Inhale down and exhale up. <sighs> Inhale down and three. We're always using the right leg. Inhale down and let's do two more, four. Inhale down and last one, five. <sighs> Inhale, now switch, left leg goes up and one. Inhale, bring it down and two. <sighs> Inhale and three. Inhale and last two. Up and down, and last one, up and down. And release your arms for a few moments. So the position where we, we actually reached 
during these exercises uh, was the one we are supposed to take to keep during 100. So um, make sure that you're pulsing your arms from the shoulders. You're not using your uh, hands or your elbows. So you're pulsing from the shoulders. So this movement really engages your abs. So you can choose to breathe normally, naturally, or you can follow my counts. So we'll breathe in for five counts and breathe out for five counts. So prepare your arms. Um, if you have, um, if you prefer, you can use one hand to support your neck and in, you can use the other to pulse and to follow the counts. So bring your arms over your head, inhale and exhale, bring it up. Nice thoracic flexion and in two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, twenty, in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, thirty, in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, forty, in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, fifty, in, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, Four sixty in two three four five and exhale two three four seventy in two three four five and exhale two three four eighty in two three four five and exhale two three four ninety in two three four five and exhale two three four hundred and release back down and bring your arms over to your side and you can rock from side to side, especially if your head needs it, this little movement. So let's do, um, let's bring your heels a little closer to your body. So now let's lift the hips to the sky in a, in a, in a single movement. So when you come back, make sure you come back with the sacrum directly pressing on the mat. Exhale, come up. Press up, inhale, come down, and exhale, reach, inhale, down, and exhale, up, inhale, down. So your glutes are really working to bring your hips up, and exhale, up, inhale, down, and up, and down. Let's do three more, inhale, and two more, and inhale, and one more, inhale. So now stay up and let's do that toe tap. So bring your right leg tabletop, inhale here and exhale, tap for five and up, two and three and four and five and place your right foot down, bring your hips up if it's possible. So make sure your hips are level and inhale, up and exhale, tap, inhale up and two. So 90 degrees in your knee and up and four and up and five, up, bring it down. So press up just a, a few inches, inhale and now roll your spine down this one last time. So roll, massage your spine back to a neutral position and stay here. So bring your, grab one knee and come back to a seated position. So let's start from here for our roll up. So extend your legs, um, keep them slightly bent at the beginning. Maybe we'll extend them later. Uh, so your, um, your feet up the hip distance apart, your, uh, grab your, the back of your thighs just to make sure that your sit bones are vertical and your entire spine is really long. So from the crown of your head, you're really, you're really feeling the length of your whole spine. So from here, extend your arms forward and exhale, let's curl the pelvis. So let's find, let's reach vertebrae by vertebrae. And if you want, you can extend your legs and place your head on the mat. Inhale, bring your arms forward and exhale up. You can gently bend your knees. You can grab the back of your thighs to help you move forward and then dive forward up and over your, your knees. And from here, start rolling back and release. 
So feel that support in your abdominals and extend, reach your arms over your head. Inhale up and exhale, thoracic flexion. And then keep going. You can bend your knees and grab the back of your thighs and dive forward. So stay here and inhale, reach back. So curve your spine and then roll it down vertebrae by vertebrae on your mat. So if you want, you can keep your arms always free and you can keep your legs straight. So dive forward and really feel your sit bones here. Inhale, start pressing back, shoulders away from your ears and release and with control, roll down until your head. And let's do last two. Inhale and exhale, roll up. So make this movement as smooth as possible and inhale, draw the navel in, shoulders back down and release on the mat and bring your arms over your head. And let's do last one. Inhale and exhale up. And from here, let's roll up to a vertical position, to a vertical seated position and release your hands and roll your shoulders a few times back. Well done. So let's go into a quadruped position and find our alignment here. So your arms are in line with your shoulders, knees are hip distance apart, feel the pelvic floor muscle and transversus abdominis. So they're firing up, they're really supporting your spine. So you're not collapsing, but you're really supporting. So imagine you're holding um, a cup of water, a glass of water here. So you're really lengthening. And the length goes um, until you, the crown of your head. So feel that your neck is long, your shoulders are pressing away from your ears. Inhale, and let's do a cat stretch. So exhale, start rounding your spine from the navel up and bring your gaze towards your hips. Inhale, stay here and exhale. Come back to a neutral position, lower back, middle back, upper back. Inhale, stay and exhale. Draw the navel in and press gently on your hands. Inhale, stay in this nice curve and exhale, release. Let's go back to a neutral position. So feel the arms long. Inhale and exhale up. Let's go the whole curve with the spine. Inhale, stay here and exhale. Come back to a neutral position. And last one, inhale and exhale. It feels like you're massaging your spine once again. You're really moving the whole spine. Inhale and exhale. Shoulders away from your ears and really feel the support in your spine. Well done. So curl your toes under. Uh, inhale here. Make sure you really are engaging your abdominals. Inhale here and exhale. Lift hover over the mat, inhale, stay here, and exhale, gently release the knees down. Inhale and exhale, press on your toes and your hands, and just a one inch off the floor, inhale, stay here, and exhale, release. So your neutral spine is always neutral. Inhale and exhale, press up, inhale, stay here, and exhale, release. And let's do two more. Inhale and exhale, press. Inhale, stay. And exhale, come back down. And let's do last one. Inhale and exhale, up. Inhale, stay. And exhale. Uncurl your toes and take a moment in shell stretch if it's possible. So sit back on your heels and just release for a few moments. Take a break with the, with the wrists if you feel any tension. And let's go back to a quadruple position once again. So here, lift your right knee off the floor. Let's so keep that neutral spine, that length in your neck. Inhale and exhale, extend your leg back. One, inhale back and two and back and three and back. Uh, let's, let's do four and uh, let's do one more. So now you can go on with this movement or you can add the left arm. So make sure that you keep the balance 
and your supporting leg and arm are really working to support and you're working your abs to lengthen the lower back. And let's do two more. Exhale when you reach. Inhale, come back. And let's do last one. Reach and back. And let's do one more. Stay here. Place your left hand on the floor and flex and point your right foot. So really feel that length. You're stretching a little bit of your, your calf muscles. And let's do four more. And three. And two. And one. And point your foot and pulse it up for ten. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now place the toes of your right foot on the floor and simply rock back and forth. So we'll keep stretching that right calf in a gentle movement, forward and back, forward and back. And then let's go back to a quadruped position and let's start everything with the left leg. So lift, it, lift, lift your left knee off, in, inhale here and exhale back and come back in, exhale two and three. So your pelvis is stable and your abs are really working, four. Let's do one more, five. So you can keep doing this exercise or you can add the right arm and in opposite directions and back and reach and back and three. So keep that balance and four and five. So let's do last one. Stay here, place your right hand down and flex your foot and point flex and point. So really feel the back of your leg supporting the leg in itself. And let's do four more and three and two and one. So stay here, your point, your, your feet is pointed and pulse up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now place your toes on the mat and rock back and forward. So really find that length in the calf, but you're really working your abdominals to support your spine. So feel the length. And from here, bring that knee in and release in shell stretch for a few moments. So if you want, you can circle your wrist a few times to uh, to release any any tension, any discomfort you might feel. And then if it's possible, roll back on your heels. So stay here just a few moments and circle your shoulders down a few times, back a few times. So from here, let's stay in a seated position with your um, your feet as, uh, apart, hip distance apart, and grab the back of your thighs really to find that length and the sitting bones really placed on the mat. Inhale here and exhale. Let's go into that C curve. So bring the weight towards your sacrum and inhale, pull gently on your arms to really, you can find a little bit of extension in your torso if you want and exhale, bring the navel in, really draw in the navel and inhale, pull on your legs and arms to find those sit bones and exhale. Inhale up. So really find that length from the crown of your head and exhale. Inhale up. And let's do two more. So you're really supporting with your abdominals. You don't really need your hands here, but if you want, you can grab your thighs and pull on them and really lift to open your chest. And let's do last one, exhale. Inhale up, stay here. Now see if you can extend your arms forward. Inhale and exhale. Let's go back to this curve with your lumbar spine. Inhale up, make it really a dynamic movement and you can explore how much you can go back. 
So it's very personal. And make sure you can come back without really any distress, any discomfort in your lower back. So really support with your abdominals. And exhale. So really think about going up when you come up. It's not really forward, but up. Inhale. And let's do two more. And exhale. Inhale. Up. And last one. Exhale. And up. So turn your palms down. Inhale. And exhale. As you go down, twist your body. Twist your torso to the right and gaze towards that right arm. Inhale back to center and switch every time. Exhale, left. Inhale, come back to center on your sit bones and exhale, really reach away from your torso. Inhale, up and exhale, switch direction and up and keep it going. Exhale, inhale, up and exhale, Inhale, so you can see if you can go further every time. So it's really uh, personal. See if you can reach further with that arm. And let's do last two, right and left, right, reach, and back to center, and reach with your left arm, back to center, and release. So we'll We'll keep our lumbar flexion and we'll move the arms. So inhale here and exhale, prepare. So don't, don't go halfway, just halfway in your, in your lumbar curve. So bring your hands down. They're brushing the floor. And now let's scissor the arms. So breathe, you can breathe normally here. You can breathe freely. And feel that you're only moving your arms. So you have a nice curve in your lower back. You're really drawing that navel into the spine. You're really pressing with your feet on the floor. So you're really keeping the gaze forward. And let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now bring your arms at shoulder level and Pull, press forward, so really dive forward. Place your torso on your thighs and then roll up to a seated position. So bring your arms forward once again, palms facing each other and bring it back. Inhale and exhale, this time open your arms. So make sure that your hands stay in your field of vision. So you're not really going all the way, but you're controlling the movement so you still see your hands when you open your arms. And really feel that the pressure on your abs increases when you open your arms. So with every exhale, draw the navel much more into the spine. And let's do four more. Inhale. And let's do three Inhale and last two. Inhale and last one. Inhale and bring it all forward. Stay here, release your neck and shoulders and then roll up. Well done. So next section will lie on our side. So make sure you find the, the best position with your head. You can support, you can go a little down and you can extend your arms. So it's really up, up to you what the position, the perfect position for your, um, for your neck is. And this arm really helps you to keep the chest nice and open and to avoid tension in the shoulders and neck. So the bottom leg is, um, is bent and your top leg stretches. So make sure you have the, your aligning shoulder, hip and foot. So stay here. And from here, this leg goes down, inhale and exhale up, inhale down and up and down. So if you want to concentrate, to focus on um, a mus muscular part, think about the external part of the glute and the, uh, and the leg. So you're not really using your thigh, your quads, you're really using the lateral part of your thigh and glutes. So, and keep going up and down, press up and down. Let's do five and down, four and three, two 
and one. So stay here and let's do little circles. One, two, three. Make sure your pelvis is neutral and stable so you're not moving your torso and your pelvis. And let's switch direction. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Stay here and release. So now extend both legs and make sure that you are really balancing on your left hip. So this is a little bit more difficult with your, with your weight. So you're not sliding back or forward. So make sure you stay here and keep your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, top leg, exhale, bottom leg and bring them back together. Top leg and bottom leg and bring them back. So inhale, exhale and release. Inhale and exhale and release. Let's do two more. Up, up and down. And last one, up, up, and down. So now keep your legs together and we'll do five without separating them. So keep them close together. Inhale and exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up and down and up. Down last two. Up and down and last one up and down well done so let's do everything on the other side so prepare on your right side make sure you find that comfortable position with your neck and shoulders so your your bottom knee is bent and really stretch that top leg so find that alignment so and here inhale brush with your toes and up one Inhale down and two and down and three and up. So make sure this uh, leg stays in line with the torso. You're really feeling that external part of your glute and your leg. There's a, there is a, a contraction also in your gluteus maximus, but you're really supporting the movement comes from this part of your leg and glute. Let's do two more. So let's stay up. And here, start the circles. Make sure you go forward and back. So the supporting leg is really pressing on the floor to uh, help you stabilize in the pelvis and the torso as you do the circles. And switch direction. One, two, three, and four, five, six, and release. So now extend both legs and really check the alignment. So top leg first, top leg, bottom leg and keep them pressed together as they come down. So top leg, bottom leg and release. And up, up and down. Inhale, exhale and come back down and up up and down and last two up up so really feel that left oblique work so now keep the legs pressed together inhale and use the exhale to come up exhale up inhale down and two and down and three and down and four and last one five and release well done so let's go into a little stretching sequence to really uh, to release any tension you might have felt during this workout so you can place a cushion under your head and start by bringing both knees into your chest so you can cross one ankle over the other if you want and start rocking from side to side so really Feel the length in your neck and really press the lower back and the sacrum area on the mat. So stay in, in the center and now place your hands on the right thigh, on the right shin and extend if you can the left leg. 
So inhale here and exhale, bring that knee into your chest. So feel that your spine is gently pressing on the floor. Inhale, release and exhale two. Inhale. So your left leg is active on the floor, exactly actively pressing on the mat. And let's do two more. Press and pull. Inhale and exhale. And switch your legs. So extend your right leg with control. Inhale, release and exhale. Bring your knee in. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And you can go deeper every time in this length you find on your spine. And last two. Inhale and last one. So bring both knees in and separate your knees so you can grab your big toes or the external part of your feet. Inhale and exhale. Let's go into happy baby pose. So the soles of your feet are parallel to the floor and you're really pulling those knees into the floor and the sacrum as well. So don't allow your sacrum to uh, fly off the floor, but you're really gently pressing. So you feel that deep stretch in your hips and thighs. And you can rock from side to side. You can stay in the center or you can rock and really massage your lower back. Feel that nice massage. And then bring it back to center and release. So place both feet on the floor. So now let's do figure four. So bring your right ankle on top of your left knee. So bring your knees in. See if it's possible to cross your fingertips under your left thigh. Inhale and exhale, bring the knees in. So find that stretch in your right glute. Inhale, release. And let's keep going. Two. Inhale, release, and exhale. Inhale, let's do two more. Exhale here. Inhale, and exhale, last one. And release. So place for a moment both feet on the mat. So cross your left ankle on your right knee. Bring your knees in and see if it's possible to cross your fingertips. Interlace your fingertips under your right thigh. And here, exhale, bring it into your chest. So make it a progression. So you're finding easier to bring the knees into your chest. So you go deeper into that stretch every time you pull the knees in. Inhale, and let's do two more. Exhale, inhale, and exhale, last one. And release. So you, can, you want, if you want, you can grab one knee and come back to a seated position. So find a seated position that is comfortable. So you can grab a chair if you'd like as long as your sit bones are on, on, in a vertical position to really feel that your spine is supported by your abdominals, your back muscles. And place your fingertips on the mat. Inhale, right arm up and exhale. Let's go into this lateral flexion. Make sure your hips stay level or stable. Inhale up and exhale. Bring your arm down. Inhale, left arm up and exhale. Inhale up and exhale down and inhale up and down. So feel that your left shoulders stays down, your hips are level and stable. So find that you're always feeling the sit bones pressing gently on the mat. Inhale up and place your hands on your knees and circle your shoulders back a few times. Well done. Thank you so much for being here during this workout. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Thank you so much again, and I hope to see you very soon.